In this problem, we're told to calculate A, the x component, and B, the y component of a vector with magnitude 24 meters in direction 56 degrees. So how do we solve this? So the first thing you want to do is draw out your vector, right? So we have this vector, right? And so it's going to be magnitude of 24 meters, right? And then its angle, right, or direction to the horizontal is going to be 56 degrees, right? So this is the first thing you always want to do, just draw it out. And so the next thing you want to do is I always like to rewrite it as a triangle. So just take this and redraw it as a triangle. So you can just make it a right triangle, right? So imagine it like this. So this is going to be 56 degrees. And then you label the hypotenuse of the triangle the magnitude, right? So the magnitude is just 24 meters, right? And so this is our triangle. And so the next thing we want to do is find the x and y component, right? So we're just going to solve it. So this is the x side and this is the y component, right? Because the x component, if you think about it graphically, this is the x component and then the y direction is the y component, right? So how do we solve for it? So this might look familiar, right? So you're just going to use trig to solve these, but there are specific formulas you should just memorize because you're going to get to a point where you just can basically just solve it really fast, right? So the formula for the y component that you use is y is equal to m, right? So your magnitude times the sine of the angle. And then for the x, it's e x equals the magnitude times the cosine of your angle, right? So these are the formulas that you can use to solve for the y component and the x component, right? So if we just go ahead and solve, right? And I'll show you in a second why it works. But so y is equal to the magnitude, which is 24 times the sine of the angle, right? So what's our angle, right? So the angle is 56 degrees, right? And so if you go ahead and do this 24 times the sine of 56, and make sure when you do this, it's in degrees. So 19.89, right? So it's going to be 19.89. That's going to be the y. And then if we do the x, it's going to be 24 times the cosine of 56. 24 times the cosine of 56. Yeah, so this is going to be 13.4. Right, so you have 13.4 meters. Or this is 13.42. I'm just going to round to 13.4. And then this one is just about 19.9. .9. Right, so these are going to be x and y components, right? So this is the y component, this is the x component, right? So this is how you should know it, right? So just memorize these formulas. This is how you're going to use it. So you just take your magnitude multiplied by the cosine of your, right, the direction uh, for the x, and then magnitude times the sine of the direction for the y. But let me show you why it works. So think about trick, right? So if we're taking the cosine of an angle, okay, the cosine of this case is 56, but I'm just going to denote it as theta in this case. What is cosine equal to? Well, we know it's SOKATOA, right? So ka, right? So ka toa. So it's going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse, right? So what's the adjacent side? So in this case, the adjacent side of our angle is the x, right? Over the hypotenuse, which is 24, right? So I'm just going to put m, though, because that's our magnitude, right? So if we multiply both sides by m, you're going to get x equals m times the cosine of theta, right? And that's exactly the formula we're using. And it works the same for sine, right? The sine, we know it's so, right? So so katoa, so opposite over hypotenuse. What's the opposite side? Well, it's this y, right? Over the hypotenuse, which again, denote by m, multiply both sides by m, m times the sine of theta equals y, right? And that's the formula we're using. But yeah, so this is just proofs on how we solve the formula. But essentially, you just got to use these if you want to solve. But yeah, so uh, these right here, are your, these are going to be your answers. So this is the x component, this is a, and then this is b. But yeah, so these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.